with another edible nail polish video. So I've created the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever created in my entire life. Edible alligator nail polish using real alligator meat. So let me know in the comments below what you think I should make edible next time. And I want to try and start including more of your comments in my videos like I used to do. So if you post a comment below, tell me what you want to see next. You may see your comment in my next video. And also, if you like my videos, please subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below to become an official glitter critter. So this is also a collaboration with my friend, Hey Renee, and she created these really cute edible cards. So make sure you go to her channel, subscribe, and let her know that I sent you. Her video will be linked in the description below. Oh, and remember, on Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern, I have a live stream show on you now. I'll be sure to post the link to that. Make sure you go and you follow me on you now and subscribe so that way we can hang out every single Friday and I can answer some of your questions and stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into this video. Let's get started. So I'm not only going to show you how I made this edible alligator nail polish, but I'm also going to show you how you can actually use it. And I know you're probably not going to make this because not many people have alligator meat handy. And not many people in their right state of mind would even think of doing something this ridiculous. But you know what? I'm not in my right state of mind. So here's how you make it. So I got some fried alligator from a local restaurant and I stripped it of all of the breading. I put some really hot water in the meat bowl and I just let it soak for a while. I even put it in the microwave. Because the meat was not disintegrating how I wanted it to, I put it in my little magic bullet and I emulsified it. So next I took some of this horseradish mustard, some mayo, and I mixed it together to create like my nail polish base. So I'll also add some Louisiana Tabasco because it's an alligator and it's like Louisiana. So I also had to add some Cajun seasoning to this as well because I really wanted to give this so-called nail polish like a Cajun theme or Louisiana theme. So then I added some green food coloring and I love the way that you could still see the little black specks in it. It kind of reminded me of like alligator skin or something. So to put the meat in, I used this little strainer here and then I just eventually was able to mix it in and there were no lumps or anything. So there is alligator meat in it. It's just that you can't really see it or feel it. So to decorate the outside of the nail polish bottle I found these alligator squishy toys at the Dollar Tree and hey look this turned into a cutting open squishies video and I decided to cut it open and I pretty much stretched both ends on the top and the bottom of the nail polish container and I have to say this is the stupidest thing I have ever done, y'all. I was laughing so hard when I was doing this. But look, it looks like the alligator ate the nail polish bottle. It's so cute. I even had to send Christine from Simply Nail Logical a picture. She approved, she loved it. So thanks, Christine. So next I used like a dropper to put the nail polish, uh, air quotes, nail polish in. And now here is how you can actually apply it to your nails or how I'm going to apply it. So I just added two packets of gelatin to the um, alleged nail polish and I used a brush just to brush it on top of my actual nails. I know my nails look really ratchet right now. I need to go to the nail salon but I have absolutely no time this week. Sorry. And I just continued to build that up over and over and I figured, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I I could create some little alligator tails out of gelatin. To do this is super easy. All I did was I took like a butter knife and I created like these tail shapes on wax paper and I just continued to build them up as they got tacky and dried. I also put like a little bit of texture on them. I put them in the fridge and let them harden. 
And then I was able to just use more gelatin to stick it onto each nail. Later on, I texturized these and I put little bumps all over them to look just like alligator tail nails. That rhymed! Okay y'all, so that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think I should make edible next. You may see your comment in my next video. Please subscribe to become an official glitter critter if you enjoy my videos and you want to see more videos. You gotta subscribe. So please subscribe. Thank you. Also, don't forget to go and check out Renee's video. It will be linked in the description below. And become a fan on my You Now because I definitely want you to come and hang out with me on Fridays at 6 Eastern. So I thank you for watching and have a glitterful day. I love you. Bye!